My name is Joyce Tan. I'm with the TSC Design Company. And today I will show you how to use Tsukinico ink with all my stencil design, make a beautiful art quilt or for apparel. And we've been the fiber art business over five years before we're in rubber stamp business and the paper art for scrapbook for uh, car making. And this is my sixth year. And I'm very happy today have uh, this wonderful chance to show you my dream come true. My dream six years ago is want to get a piece of any piece of fabric, and I would design have the color, had a pattern, everything come out, or on my design on my ink. But today my dreams come true because I have very a lot of new formula, new technique. I will show you just in the next project. Thank you. The first project I will show you is use a shaving cream like a medium. Apply it with the ink. I create all the marbleizing fabric. First, you spray the shaving cream, and I would suggest use a barber soap shaving cream. That's reliable, never fail. Use a barber soap, generic brand. Spray the cream in your tray, and then use a squeezy. It smooths out your shaving cream like icing of the cake. No bubble, no air. And then you put a couple drops of ink. I will put a spring green first. You can see the, the density of the ink. No bleed, so it will give you enough time to finish your project. And I put a tropical lagoon. And I add a little bit cherry pink. I put a four row of color. Because I taught kindergarten kids, I taught uh, all the senior citizens play with this project. So I have very easy technique for you. First, you do right and left. And then you do up and down. And you swirl. I use an embossing tool. You can use any stick, pencil, coffee store, any stick to make this project. After the pattern come out, the Tsukiniko ink work on any kind of fabric. So right now, I'm using the cheapest muslin. You drop your fabric on the top of cream with pattern and shaving cream like carrier. The ink with pattern will transfer to your fabric. And you take out <coughs> with a squeezy, you get rid of the shaving cream. Bingo, you create a wonderful marble pa pattern fabric. And the next, Couple drop of shaving cream. I can do about five projects. The next one, I'll show you the leftover shaving cream. You tap the shaving cream and tap on your fabric, one row, two, three row. And you create instant like tie dye pattern of your fabric. Your own style of tie dye. And now I'll create a background fabric. So now I'll show you how I do stencil. The stencil, you put a template on the top, and I have a couple couple things to help you prevent bleeding. Uh, you can use 404 spray and you can use our palette paper or you can use um, our use the ink. Let me show you how easy they are. Drop an ink on the paper, coating paper. And I have a wonderful applicator, Jumbo Dabber. So with Dabber, but you can direct apply ink, stencil. But I have a wonderful tip to share with you. You pick out a little bit clean shaving cream and get rid of excess shaving cream there. And dab, you tap, dab on your ink, and then do stencil on the top. You see how shaving cream will act like a carrier, transfer your ink to the fabric. And your printing job is such easy, smooth, and not bleeding at all. And now you see how pretty you create a beautiful pattern fabric like you buy from anywhere else. It's that beautiful easy and a very easy technique. My new formula I like to share with you is an amazing project. I use the ink, mix my mix with the rubbing alcohol. Okay, I mix with the rubbing alcohol. Not with water, with the rubbing alcohol. 70% and 91% is the best. I use 70% is okay. So you mix your ink with rubbing alcohol. You spray on your fabric. Let me show you this beautiful sample. See this coil fish? Look at the coil fish, look at the session part. The session part, such pretty color, I can show you. I use white on white fabric. White on white fabric, and I spray. I use a 
I use a salad blue salad and a, a tropical lagoon. After spray, you will see the you will see the color. This one color and this one color in the middle part. I will have a little clear uh, rubbing alcohol. I spray in the middle. So those two color I spray, they will merge, blend in the middle, create a third color. But so pretty, it create your own color. And this another sample here. Check this kitty. Look at this beautiful piece. This from the white, the whole white, the piece white fabric. And the same thing, this white on white fabric. And I spray all the color, see the color, the sash in the frame. And the eye stencil with my kitty stencil, and I use white ink stencil on the top of those colorful background. This beautiful piece. And you can use the same idea, create your own fabric color and your pattern. Look at this bird tree. So I, I create a tree, not with my stencil. I use my leftover shaving cream. The leftover shaving cream do have a lot of color blending in there. So I use the three color shaving cream, leftover shaving cream. I use Deborah and Deb cross line. So I make like a, like a trunk. And then I highlight with marker, create a, a brown color. So the whole piece created from white. I use a leftover shaving cream. And this blue part, like winter, a little bit winter color, I use the lightest blue and spray on the white on white fabric. And I use a leftover shaving cream, make a trunk, highlight with a marker and this spray and the, and the draw with my mark. The whole piece created from one white or white wall or white on white fabric. I'm really happy you enjoy my project. I'm with AQS all their show and uh, I'm each show I, I go there, I probably teach and I have an education center free, uh, free lecture on the stage. And uh, not just that, every single time I come for the show, you visit my booth, AQS visit, visit my booth. I always have one some new idea, new creation, new technique, update, share with you. For example, this is uh, my newer sample I just got. Sorry, I haven't totally finished my uh, quill yet. I finished my server design. See this white piece of fabric and look how pretty they come out. This is my famous quill, quill fish, the, the big one, small one. I use a red ink spray. I use a sea sponge sponge the gold ink and I use my special funky puncer uh, I call batik puncer punch the, the tropical lagoon blue I create all the frame and the, here the green I spray with alcohol spray I create my green background and do very subtle color background fish and then color with that with a re, three color with a banana cream and uh, just really red delicious create the whole thing and I will see you next show. Thank you. Enjoy.